Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun, Chapter 359. Alright, so, we found out that Mephesto is a lot older than he might have otherwise appeared. So, yeah, serving under the last three Demon Kings? Oh, God. And he was like a child, still, when... Um, Delkira became Demon King, so it's like his aging process is weird. <clears throat> and also, I had this weird thought the other day. It's like, what if the reason why um, his spite against Delkira for not letting him serve under him, but then Sullivan served under him, and Irumakun being Sullivan's grandson, he's trying to like gain that same like general. I'm the right hand of the Demon King kind of thing. Maybe that's what he's trying to do? I'm not sure. <clears throat> it's not fully thought out. It was just a random thought. But anyway. A place you want to be. And this is a nice little color. Or not a color cover, but a, like a... Kind of a sketchy... Not really a sketch. What is this style? I don't know. But I like it. Uh, listen when Sensei is talking. Greet everyone carefully. Or cheerfully. Hmm, yes. <laughs> and here he is in his sensei robes. In magic, there's verbal magic, mental magic, and bloodline magic. The three magic siblings, all. So he's using the books. This picture book explains the difference between the three. Let me read it for you, and everyone's like, yay! A picture. I love picture books. Do you like them too, mister? Yeah, <laughs> he's just kind of back there. Oh, let's see. So we got Ama or Osma. I always want to say Amadeus for some reason. That's a musician. Um, Osmodius Sensei. We demons have certain types of magic you're particularly skilled with. First, you must determine your own specialty and train it well. And he's illustrating yeah, illustrating it with his fire. This will accelerate the pace at which you improve. I love picture books. Do you like them too, mister? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clara Sensei. <coughs> Mental images are the foundation of magic. Think about lots of fun things. Stuff you'd like to do, stuff you'd like to be. Gather them all up. And then, you just boom, and bang, and ba-bam. Ba-ba-bam. <laughs> uh, I don't think Professor is getting as much out of this as what the the students are. Which they're pro He's probably thinking, this is not how you teach magic. Hmm. That's all for the what is magic lesson. <laughs> what? You didn't really say anything. Um, Arumakun, it's Aruma Sensei. So the little child's like, it, it, yeah, no, it ain't. Aruma Sensei, can I have a second? Sure. Breathes in, what is this? <laughs> By this you mean this whole situation. It's Babaliers. Uh, we came here to create a settlement for the many years, right? Right. And to get them to stay at this settlement, we discussed about you becoming a king to govern them, right? Hmm. But you declined for the time being. Then said you wanted to learn about the many years lifestyle. Asked a boy to show you around. And at some point, you built a school. I thought for sure that you were looking for someone to govern this village in your place. Right now, you're garnering support and showing leadership by teaching them magic. So it's like instead of letting Nova become the future king, he's thinking Aruma is just like... It's like, hmm, which path are you taking? <laughs> Meaning, this is how you've chosen to become king, is that right? No, sir, I'm a teacher. <laughs> a teacher? Right, we're teachers, and they're students. There's nothing king about it. <laughs> how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to... Ugh supposed to judge this. Clara suggested that we make a school. Hmm? 
I was surprised at first, but thought it was a really great idea. And as Kun got the place and all the other preparations ready. As as sensei, Clara sensei. <laughs> I, I've been thinking for a long time. How long has it really been? The many ears all live scattered far and wide, so maybe that means they don't have a place to belong. I also didn't have a place to belong at first at all. And then Sullivan. But thanks to my family, I started attending at Babylus. And gained a lot of friends and demons I can depend on. I don't know if you want to say Calico would be dependable except in a school setting. And that's only because it's his job. He He's come to hate you, but maybe there's a deep love there. <clears throat> I've decided where it is that I belong. It's at the school. Babylus is a very precious place to me. Oh, that's why I thought if we made a Babylus for the many years, maybe they wouldn't leave the settlement. In other words, it's the make them love Babyliers so much that they won't leave plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Billy from Billy and Manny. Yeah. Like, ugh. Got that. I already had a headache. Don't make it worse. I have a feeling it's a great idea. Hmm. I get it. In other words, the school is your way of building a country. Yes, sir. I see. A school, huh? From my perspective as a judge, I'll respect your actions. Ah, ooh, my stomach's growling. I don't know if that's picking up on the mic. I don't think so. But, well, I'll keep watching over you. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Hmm. Keep it up. More like hanging in there. Because <laughs> pretty soon, I think you're going to run straight into a wall. Residency tent for guests. It's got like a little badge on it for some reason. Hmm. We're sleeping together. I want to be in this tent too. Don't be ridiculous. So, they're all staying in the tent. Wait, what the heck is it that she's holding on to? Get to the tent for female guests. But then I'll be alone. So, summon Fafel. Or, Falfal? It's Falfal. Uh, don't bring your body pillow in here. <laughs> Rumachi and me and uh, Falfal are gonna use you to play. That sounded dirty. <laughs> Look, we're not here to play. What do you mean, use me to play? <laughs> uh, we're planning to do more classes at Babylon's tomorrow, so we should save our stamina today. Grr. I will see her out. Oh, it says welcome Aruma on the... Okay, that wasn't on there before, so I guess it's too far away to put text on it. Uh, I'll make sure to ensure the, or secure the tent's entrance so you don't come back over. Good grief. Ah, you figured me out. Those are large-ass futons. Like, my god. Aruma's like sleeping on like a king-sized bed and he, there's, it still extends out of the panel. They could all literally, if they laid the other way, all three of them could easily sleep on one futon and still have room in between them. Another busy day. It sure is tough to teach something to someone. Everyone had so many questions. I mean, they're learning something new that's going to be super beneficial to their lives. Why wouldn't they be? I wanted to do different things. Or M wanted to do different things. The teachers at Babel, or Babelus, sure are incredible. Aww. Well, that was a loud growl. Teachers. Right now, I'm a teacher, huh? And he's up, and he's going to start making a syllabus. <laughs> and here comes Alice. <laughs> I don't know why he called him by his last, or first name, yeah, technically. So... He's there for the creation of the school. That is a weird ass lantern. Um, hmm. Also, it's interesting that they still have the bell. Even though 
it's already been used, so hmm. I guess they can still use it as a bell, just not for its original magical purposes. Also, this one sprig of hair is just not doing its thing, is it? Um, I think I forgot to comb my hair, actually. Um, but anyway, so, uh, yeah. Mephisto's kind of, like, gauging, like, the real plan. The, the intentions of Aruma, essentially. Like, what is he actually wanting to do? Is he going to become the king? Is he going to appoint a king in his place after establishing everything? Is he just playing house at the school? <laughs> it's like, th these are the things he's wondering. <clears throat> and But he's already suspecting that Aruma's going to hit the proverbial wall of development. Because, you know, the whole fact that the school is literally just that. It's a school. It's like, it's not society. It's not full culture. It's not a settlement like they live in tents it seems like so it's like where's the infrastructure it's like where the school may eventually become like a center of culture but not all of it <clears throat> you know you'll have to do fine arts and all the other stuff like maybe make a library where they can study more magic and whatnot as well um uh set up a defensive system because you know like once people start finding out that the many years are not going to you know follow their whims like they have for time and memoriam it's like people are going to come and like try to steal them kidnap them maybe even outright kill them because out of the anger of like oh you won't serve me well then you won't serve anyone else so it's like Defensive measures might also need to come into play, and this is <laughs> it's going to get dangerous. Um, <clears throat> and also the whole thing of like keeping them together. Like eventually, they're going to want to branch out and do other things. Like there's other parts of the demon world that are far more developed, and they'll want their you know curiosities and what they want to do with their newfound magic, you know, learnings and prowess as time goes on. They're going to want to go to these other places and study to show off what they can do, develop things maybe, become inventors and whatnot. So it's like, yeah, it, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. <laughs> but we will see. We believe in Arumakun here. Um, but yeah. Let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. Links down below for all my socials. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. Until next time, Keeshlings. School is in session. But for how long? <laughs>